So here we have Jedi Master Indara. Of course, uh, played by Carrie on Moss. And after you watch that first episode, you're like, wow, they played her up as being in the show, and then she's barely in it. She gets killed off right away. And of course, then she showed up with all the flashbacks and everything, so she did have more to play in it. Um, overall, it's a little different type of Jedi figure. You can see, like, her skirt's a little shorter. Well, not skirt, but you know what I mean. Uh, the end of her robes there. Let's go ahead and open her up and take a look. Here is Indara. Her robes are a little bit different. Take a look at the face sculpt. It's pretty good. Not too bad. I noticed her hands. She has just kind of a little bit of robe hangover or sleeve hangover. No gauntlets like on uh, Yord. See the detail on her belt. And her robes are very different. They're not that traditional, uh, you know, crisscross with the, the tabard over it and everything. It's just kind of a basic robe there. Almost kind of like a, I don't want to say bathrobe, but you know what I mean. Um, it's a nice figure overall. She comes with a lightsaber. Lots of detail on this lightsaber. So we can get a good... So there's some gold and silver in there. And she got a spot to put. Yes, you can put her lightsaber right there. If you want to. She has a green lightsaber right here. No, no dagger to put in her chest on this one. So we can't do that, but... I also noticed with all the acolyte robes, it's all there. The hoods are stitched down, so you can't really put them up over the head, which is kind of weird. Look at the detail on the back of the hair there. Kind of got the clips and everything on her braids, so it's kind of neat. Overall, nice figure, well done. And again, even if you didn't like the show, so make a nice background Jedi figure for you, so you could uh, add to your Jedi ranks and all that. So this is Master Indara.